What's up, guys? It's November 6, 2024. Got a huge gap up. Or I guess let's look at the daily real quick. Really big gap up. Boy, we got a gap across the EMA. Copy, paste. Great for the bulls. Um, yeah, we've been in a bull market. This bar was the first gap bar below the EMA, so bulls are going to want to close that. Really wild rally, but if you follow Al Brooks, this is what's supposed to happen. So, first cap bar went sideways, and then bang, new high. I hope we don't go sideways again. We're super far away from the EMA, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. The Bulls want to get one to one for sure, but is that possible? One to one puts us at six one sixty one hundred. 50% of this bar puts us kind of around a break and retest. So maybe we retrace 50%. Bears definitely want to full on reversal and into oblivion. Uh, bulls want to see a continuation. Really nice day for the Bulls. Most of that price action happened overnight. Yeah, crazy rally. This was yesterday's price action. And then. The overnight price action was just a rally after rally after rally. Insane. I didn't get to trade it, but I've heard before that during elections the market can rally. Don't don't quote me on that in four years, but I have heard that. Big gap up. A hundred a hundred and three point gap up. Insane. Bar one is a bear bar, so not good for the bulls. You know, you want to see a continuation right away, but it ends up being with a hundred point gap up. I can see why they needed a bit of a pullback. The market goes range bound for the first um, almost hour. They don't even meet one to one. It was they don't even meet one to one. So when we have a big gap up, it's normal that we have more of a range day. There's so much momentum that it carried over. That's great. I hope you, I mean, I was watching this and I was like, wow, 30 points, 50 points, 50 point rally. All you have to do is buy a bar and you'd hold for two bars and you'd make money. Let's see. Okay. If you buy any bar, excluding the range, any bar on the breakout, buy here, two bars. Yep. Buy here, two bars. Buy bar 54. So bar 54, if you bought it, you wouldn't be in profits, but you would be in profits within like four bars. Buy. No, today was obviously a buy. We've been in a bull trend for quite some time. We had the gap down, sell. We gapped up, and now bulls are trending. One second, guys. Thanks. So... Trending price action. If you buy bar six, that's a risky buy because there's three bar you're buying against three bar bear micro channel, but you're also buying within a gap up, so not the worst buy. No pullback, sell off, we'll just create a higher low and then we rally. Twenty twenty one could be a good target. And you meet both. And about when you hit one point five bars when it kinda goes sideways, so this would be hard to sit through. It's crazy that this is a 50 point day, but the bars don't look that big. So, you know, like there's some volatility coming back in. Typically the market goes from volatility, contraction, volatility, contraction. Here we were contracting and now we have some volatility. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, and that's just the thing that repeats itself over and over again. Expansion, contraction, expansion, contraction, expansion, contraction. Whew. My brain is not working right today. Do bar micro channel by the pullback. One to one is met. One point five R is met. Two bar micro channel here by the pullback. That's met, and then you have a four bar micro channel here by the pullback. A lot of these targets are being met. More targets are being met here than yesterday. Because yesterday's targets were kind of extended. Here's the bars a little more crunched up. So targets are being met. A lot of trades right there. Um, so check this out. Here to here is an implied leg. We're in a range bound price action. So you have to 
check out implied legs. So if you catch that, you get your one to one, you buy this far. Even 1.4, yeah, it's not met. You'd have to hit out eventually. If you're if you're along here and you hit out, you have three bars against you, just hit out, you'll get back in later, you'll make profits later. Pretty nice day for the bulls who've been rallying. Um, I'm gonna delete this and just put in some gaps and then call it. But next week, the thing should be a little bit longer again. And kind of going just a little bit faster this week. A lot of gaps, and again, gaps show trending environment. See how these gaps got closed? These two gaps got closed. That means we're a range bound. When gaps stay open, we're trending. When gaps get closed, it's a range bound price action. Let me do that. Okay, here. So, yeah, a lot, a lot of overlap. A lot of overlap. These gaps also get close. So what's the market cycle? Breakout, deep pullback. We're in channel phase, rally, deep pullback, part of the channel, and then we rally. When we rally after the after the channel phase, we go range bound. So when we're trading, I'm looking for the first and second part of the market cycle, and then I leave the range alone. Yeah. We went over one to one for one of the gaps. It was a quick one today, guys. Getting a little bit tired here. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are capitalizing on th these rallies. If you're going short, that's okay. You know, there was a time in my trading career where I would get destroyed shorting every bar thinking it's going to reverse. But we just, I think that's like something every trader goes through. You just learn to trade with the trend eventually, and then you start to run for reversals, look for reversals in range bound price action. Anyways, guys, hope you guys are doing good. Thanks for reaching out and checking up on me. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you guys later. If you learned something, share the show. I'll talk to you guys later. Be safe. We're closing out the year, so we're going to close out the year strong. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye. I said that three times.